Equal justice under the law is not a privilege, but a fundamental birthright in America. Senator Edward M. Kennedy, July 1990. Senator Edward M. Kennedy, Champion of Disability Civil Rights. In Memoriam. In 1962, when Edward M. Kennedy was elected to the U.S. Senate, prejudice and discrimination kept children with disabilities out of school, adults with disabilities experienced widespread discrimination in employment, public transportation and housing, and systemic, physical, and social barriers prevented individuals with disabilities from participating in their communities. Institutionalization and segregation of disabled children and adults was common and accepted. In 1964, setting the stage for the next 45 years, Senator Kennedy's first speech on the Senate floor called for the passage of the Civil Rights Act. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Civil Rights Movement at its heart also set the stage for the disability rights movement and disability rights laws that would follow a decade later. Disability rights and Senator Kennedy came of age together. Senator Kennedy and Disability Civil Rights Senator Kennedy's uncompromising leadership, vision, and commitment to strengthen civil rights for individuals with disabilities and for all Americans has changed our nation. He has been instrumental in the transformation of a national outlook on disability, once characterized by pity and charity, to a perspective of civil and human rights. In his 47 years in Congress, Senator Kennedy drafted, sponsored, or supported civil rights and other legislation that has been critical to the independence of people with disabilities, laws including the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act and all of its amendments, the Civil Rights Restoration Act, the Fair Housing Amendments, the Ryan White Care Act, and of course, the Americans with Disabilities Act, just to name a few. The disability community considers Senator Kennedy's leadership one of the most important factors for our successes in Washington and the passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act in 1990. Senator Kennedy and the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. In 1988, after hearing testimony from witnesses with a variety of disabilities, as well as from parents of disabled children about architectural and communication barriers and the pervasiveness of stereotyping and prejudice, Senator Kennedy, then the chair of the Labor and Human Resources Committee, along with Senator Tom Harkin and Congressman Steny Hoyer, made a commitment that a comprehensive disability civil rights bill would be a priority for the 101st Congress. And I bet if you uh, go across this country, there really isn't a member of a family or an extended family that hasn't been touched. Two years later, on July 26, 1990, President George H.W. Bush signed the Americans with Disabilities Act at a ceremony on the South Lawn of the White House. About 60 rows back from the signing platform, Senator Kennedy sat with his son Ted and Pat Wright from the Disability Rights Education and Defense Fund. Ten years later, Senator Kennedy reflected on the ADA. In July 2000, on the 10th anniversary of the ADA, Senator Kennedy discusses key turning points and important issues during its passage. Negotiations in the HELP Committee. There were several very important and significant uh, moments, I think, uh, along, the, uh, along the pathway. Um, I think one was the uh, time of the, uh, the actual markup and the reporting out of the legislation. I've been in the Senate for a long period of time, and generally speaking, uh, if you call a meeting of a committee after the Senate is out in the daytime, it's rare that you ever get uh, two or three members to come, let alone enough uh, to uh, really mark up a bill. And as we were going through the evening time and marking uh, up uh, the bill, it, more often than not, the members leave because they have engagements uh, in the evening, or then at times it gets uh, late in the evening and they want to uh, uh, go, uh, go, go home. And what happened uh, at about 11 or 11.30 at night, 
uh, there were members of the committee that were opposed to the legislation and taking out books and started reading. I mean, a real old-time filibuster. And that is usually a time when people say, well, okay, we'll try and bring this out the next day. But no, uh, people stayed. And what happened are people, uh, the committee, more and more people came to the committee. And so as the night went on after midnight, uh, almost all the members of the committee came. And, uh, and also what happened is that the press took an interest in it. And what was, uh, and so they began to show up to pay attention. But what was absolutely extraordinary to me and what made uh, uh, an indelible impression upon all the members is the community, the disability community came to that hearing in wheelchairs, packed that room at 1.30 or 2 in the morning, and we got the legislation out. And uh, if what it said to every member of that uh, of that committee and Republican Democrats alike is we're serious about this and we're not going to take no for an answer and it isn't if we're going to pass it but when we're going to answer it uh, pass it and that created an atmosphere and a climate in terms of not only the committee but I think in the Senate that uh, said this is serious business we're going to address it changes in the scope of the legislation and secondly, there was a very important sort of change in terms of the, the scope uh, of uh, the legislation. Uh, we were really at odds uh, with uh, administrations and uh, uh, with uh, important uh, groups in the, uh, in the House and the Senate, uh, interests, special interests. Um, but when we were able to try and t ourselves sort of bring greater focus in the areas of transportation, in the areas of public accommodations, in terms of employment, and in the areas of communication, to bring a tighter scope to this, then suddenly uh, I saw the sort of a change in terms of the willingness to engage uh, and talk about these issues. And that uh, was something that took place in the, in the late to spring. Otherwise, we were running up against uh, the arguments, you know, uh, what are you going to do when a, a ski lift in Mount Sunapee, uh, when a wheelchair person comes up, are we going to require every chair and the chairlift to be accessible to someone in a wheelchair? And I can remember others that said, uh, what are we going to do in a bookstore, if we small bookstore in Keene, New Hampshire, if we have uh, one person in there and a blind person comes in, will that person have to leave the counter and go back and help the blind person, or will they have, be able to stay there? Um, there was an awful lot of fly specking uh, in, uh, in, in, uh, from, from those that were uh, opposed to the uh, legislation. But I, we were able to I mean, overcome that, that at a very uh, important meeting that we had in the, uh, in the Capitol.